that's what the gunfighter flag is typically geared towards is they got a whole lot of stuff that they want to target and kill that's moving around they got to find it and they also have to worry about things that want to kill them both air assets and surface assets so i mean it's a whole big game This is how I really feel. Those guys, those terrorists over there, they literally mean us harm. And the bigger foothold that they gain over there, the bigger pieces of weaponry that they get, they will use that against us eventually. And whether or not that's here or whether or not that's over there, this is something that's going to keep that from happening. We have uh, theater ballistic missile simulators, and we're out here essentially giving uh, visual cueing to the aircraft. They'll fly over and they have to recognize what they see on the ground and react appropriately. And then that thing will stand the missile up once we're in our launch designated position and that's the simulated launch, it's just standing the missile up. What I'm out here doing today is uh, simulating a downed air crew. My Wizzo and I were shot down and uh, I don't know where he is. Um, he's around here somewhere, but we're just trying to uh, currently to evade enemy forces and uh, waiting for the operation, uh, the rescue operation to begin. Sandy 1, Iron 1, 3, Bravo, radio check. And if they don't kill us, then we successfully got a missile into the air. I'm going to call it in about five minutes, and then I'm going to lower the missile and we'll simulate reloading, relocate to another site, and prepare another launch sequence. Yeah, the plan is to just kind of like bed down, uh, find cover, and hang out until uh, we, we talk to someone. And so what's going on right now is there's a big mission getting ready to start. A messy situation like this where there are uh, air to air threats and there are surface to air threats and there are enemies closing in on our friendly positions on the ground. Um, and it's important to be prepared for that because, uh, in, you know, in a large scale war, there's, there's a chance that that might happen. We have to train to that threat and we're providing that simulated threat so the pilots can train to it. Anything else you'd like to say about this whole exercise in general? Uh, America.